peeps, peepers. Welcome to Rusty and Nelly's Jungle. Today, today, Nelly's at work. So there's a few things that we need to show you. Some things that have been happening. So we're just gonna do a quick, I'm gonna call this a kind of like an update. An update in the jungle, in our jungle. So I'm just gonna do a quick, this is Nelly's wall that she's built, this kind of living wall. And these new big gigantors leaves are new. So it's liking it. You can see it's coming out from the wall. So they're kind of a neat little, a neat little thing that's happening to this wall. Next, next, this. This plant, I believe it's a regal shield, alocasia. It was struggling. The leaves were like a, like a yellowy, you know, where they're not doing well. And it's just put off this beautiful leaf. So very excited there. Next, and then where was it? Oh yes, Albo, Monstera Albo, brand new leaf, brand new. So that's kind of neat. And there's another brand new Albo leaf right over here. So the elbows, and I'm not sure if anything else is happening in there. I haven't even looked that closely. I just noticed and was like, woo hoo. Um, the Florida Beauty's looking great. The new leaf did come in, and we do know the results for that video, but uh, we can't show you right yet. Okay, where are we going? These are all new. All of these new leaves on this um, Prince of Orange, Philodendron, and the colors are like almost fake. They're just stunning. And that, that's a big, you know, probably four foot high plant. So that's exciting. Oh! this this is Nellie's voodoo lily I think she calls it I'm not 100% sure so it's growing and it's growing very nicely right we put it there it was it was down here and for some reason it's like growing in the ground I, I don't know how this is even happening I, I, anyway it's just kind of rooted itself I'll show you where that is like the, that pot was down there and then we put it up there just because I don't know it's, and it's got lots of stuff growing in there and then we just we were just like it's growing from the ground so that's actually kind of exciting lots of stuff in there oh I did want to show you this because that's actually pushing on the roof now so that is a castor bean the burgundy type and it's pushing on the roof so that's cool this alocasia it just keeps giving it just keeps giving and you can see it's Another new leaf, and it's probably put out two since you've seen it. It's got babies down at the bottom, there and there, and um, and it's got some other stuff in there too. It looks like it's got a prayer plant at the back, back there. Where are you? Um, back there. Okay, Marantha there. A um, trio star, Stromantha trio star there. This looks like a Syngonium elbow and that is another little alocasia something and something there this is the philodendron burl marks and you've seen it it's it's just an absolute gigantor that's not what we're going to show you or what i'm going to show you right now it didn't have any aerial roots before you can see the aerial roots there and then we're going to go down below you can see them going <laughs> i know this is He's actually found his way into another pot. So right there, see? So that's kind of neat. And he's got another arrow root over there. So he must be very, very, very happy. We've got two new leaves in the Ring of Fire, Philodendron. And those are those two new ones there. Bang, and one new one coming in. Very excited there. Atapuense, huge, huge leaves. They're over 24 inches. So that plant is just, a monster and it's got some aerial roots that are just coming out you can see right there a 24 inch that's two foot leaves the beatai looking pretty tasty over here and that's a new leaf that's a new leaf right there so that's nice this this is the alocasia fried fried eggs i call it the fried egg i think it's fried egg but i call it the fried egg and it's actually a huge little plant. It's got like lots of stuff happening. It's not just a two-brancher. And quite happy with that. 
<laughs> this is just outgrowing its outgrown. I think this is the silver mammy right here. This one. This could be the splendid. They're just outgrowing their paws. Very nice. I think this is the beginda, the dragon scale. Allocation. Very thick. And there's a new leaf back there. It's doing splendid. Okay. This is okay. There's a few things I want to show you in here. Nelly did the video of this water pond. Look at it. You know, these plants, and these are all colocasias, and colocasias love the water. So you can see their water, and she's just put the pots right in the water. And, and they're just absolutely loving it. Uh, I, I can't remember the names. I think this is like the Black Beauty or something like that. This is the Hilo Beauty. This is the Mojito. Uh, and I think this one's the White Lava. Don't quote me, but I think we're pretty good there. Um, anyway, they just look so, so healthy. So, Colocasias, um, we're having great luck with them just directly in water. They're like soap. They're in like a puddle. So, that's that. This. This is our second Philodendron Burlmark Vergata. Look at the color. Like, look at the new leaves. They're actually just beautiful. So we're quite excited about this plant. It's not as gigantic as the one back there, but it is very nice. Oh, I just want to actually do a slow, this mojito, the mojito, how can you not? And we got these at like Canadian Tire, they were $10. So you don't have to spend a lot of money. Like none of these, this was $10. They're, they're, they're big plants. I'm just going to stand back and show you. They're not little, they're not little chippers. So it's not the amount of money. Just look, if you find a leaf that you like, you buy it. And if it's a different bakia, who cares? Buy it. Um, okay, so that's that. Oh, this. So last time you saw, the leaf that you saw was that one. That was the last leaf. So since then, gigantic leaf against the roof here and then another one and you can see it's bending this we're we've run out of room that's that's about 10 feet uh this is our variegated uh banana variegated musa and we're in trouble <laughs> because it's like there's no little tiny babies like i i'd be fine if there were babies i'd be saying okay enough's enough you've done it but there's no babies I've talked to her and said we want some grandkids, we want some babies, and um, she's like responsible. No, I want to stay in school, I want to get an education and buy a house, then I'll have kids. I'm going, you're running out of time. It's like, oh my gosh, and these, I just want to, maybe we could see this leaf. No, I can't even see, it's too high, because I, I, that's as high as I am, and I, anyway, sorry. Next, we all know how much I love this, but that's not what, oh, this one. This is our Philodendron Mexicanum. And we just got this from Stone City, uh, Stone City Tropicals in uh, Sydenham, Ontario. Check out their website. It, it's a monster. We're so happy with it. We're so happy. It's, it's loving it here. And uh, we do have another one. Uh, we've got a great big Mexicanum somewhere. Um, it could be, it could be right here. Yes, it, that's where it is. But, um, we just bought this one and we're very excited. Um, oh yes. The Anthurium Vici. Anthurium King. Anthurium. Look at that. Look at the pillowy leaves. Okay, next. Next, next, next. This is quite exciting. I'm going to come over here. So this is our Prince of Orange. And you can see... It's not very Prince of Orangey, right? That was it. You saw the videos and it's kind of Prince of Orangey. It's a big plant, you know, but it did put out a new leaf. Look at this, folks. You're the first, this is the first time you're ever gonna see this leaf right now. Ready? Three, two, one, boom. Like, really? That's the first time anyone's seen this right now. Right now. Like we were just stoked. Cause we're always saying, ah, eh, it's kind of a pink. It's kind of pinky, but it hasn't gone crazy. Well, hello. We love it. Next, next, next. Brand new leaf. 
This is the Thai constellation. So it's got the beauty back there. Then it's got this one over here, which is pretty nice. This is the brand new leaf. Brand new, like three, four days old. So stoked that this, and that's the other one. And when we get to the other side, maybe I'll be able to see if I can see that one. So we're very happy, happy, happy. We really want on our queen. Uh, we do want a new leaf on that, but nothing yet. Okay, where am I going? Where am I going? Everything is so, gotta love the Defenbachias. Okay, I did have some things to point out in here. Um, citrus smell in this section is amazing. It's absolutely amazing. What do we got here? Oh, it looks like a poly. Got some stuff growing there. Oh, um, this guy. The Gigantia. This leaf is unbelievable. It's huge. It's huge. Like it's a monster. And that was Nelly did all these up. So you can see this Gigantium's all over the place and it's trying to grow up this thing pole that she made. So we're very excited about that. I do love these canna lilies that have the red. If you ever get a choice to, or a chance to get the canna lilies with the red stripes, get them. They're stand back and they just look beautiful and very little cost. Very, very little cost. Something nice is going on in here. Oh, this is the uh, burgundy um, rubber plant, Elastica. That's exciting. This guy just, he's just too big. He's just too big. He actually hit the roof and then you can see it down at the bottom. There's my hand and you can see how big he is. So he's just too big for this place. And we don't have any babies yet, so. <sighs> oh, gotta love this gingery. This is another um, canna lily, an amazing leaf. You can just see them. So we do need more of those. Oh, 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 this is a new leaf. And it's very large, put my hand in there. You can see it's a huge one. And this is the Monstera Deliciosa. One's at the ceiling, but I do want to show you these plants on there. We haven't even shown you any of them. I actually, there's one of them that you just have to see. And this is surprise. These are the things that when you have a jungle and you got these things that are 10 foot up, you never actually go up there and pull them down. Well, this one, I just saw the plant. So you can see it just hanging over. I was going, ah, those leaves are very, very, very white. So this if I remember correctly, this is the Hoya Crinkle 8, or also known AKA Susie Q. Look at the whiteness. I'm just trying to put it down so I can get the camera going on that. But it is unbelievable. Like it's just like a little white. They're, they're, they're total white. I, how is it existing? I don't know. It's got some clover in there. We don't like the clover, but look at it. See, it, it is a crinkle eh? Are you a crinkle eight? Yeah, Susie Q. Susie Q, where are you? So anyway, that is unbelievable. I'm so, I was just so thrilled to see something again. It's so healthy and you're going like, how do you photosynthesize <laughs> being albino? But it is, and that's the beauty. So I'm gonna put it back up, put me back up. Ooh. Okay, so I think I'm gonna call it a day. There's, there's, there's more stuff to show you, but Nelly's not here. So I just wanted to do a quick little, little update of show you some neat things because time, it just goes by so quickly. The plants are just growing so, so crazily fast. So you guys are missing some things. Anyway, that's the update. Guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and join us on this channel. Lots of amazing things to come. Take care, guys.